Hello everyone, my name is Peter, I'm also known as Vexilographer, and I'm on Sporkle.com today, and we're going to play some random geography quizzes. Uh, in the corner, if you play a geography quiz on Sporkle, you can see uh, a link that'll give you a random geography quiz. So that's what we're going to do today. Play along with me, and we'll see how we do. Uh, and let's go. Can I name the six founding members of the European Union? Maybe. I think the UK was part of it, because they really needed the UK, I think. Oh. Apparently not. Germany. France. Oh, West Germany. Okay. Was the Netherlands part of this? Italy? Spain? No. Belgium? Belgium, of course, Belgium. Luxembourg? That would have been... A... Okay. Little Luxembourg was part of the founding of the European Union. I didn't know that. Cool. Let's play another one. Super success right now. <laughs> Countries and capitals for each letter. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Why not? Five minutes? Let's try it. Um, Zagreb was the only Z, I think. Yemen is the only Y. Oh no. Okay, so I have to have one country and one capital for every letter of the alphabet. This is going to be tough, I think. Vietnam. Australia. B is for Bahamas. C is for Canada. D is for Djibouti. E is for Estonia. Sing along if you know the words. G is for Georgia. H is for Hungary. I is for Indonesia, J is for Japan, K is for Kazakhstan, I got L, N is for Mongolia, N is for Nauru, O is for Oman, and P is for Peru. <laughs> hey, that rhyme. I'm good at this. Q is for Qatar, R is for Romania, S is for Serbia, and T is for Tanzania. Okay, that didn't flow that well. Okay, countries, super easy. Capital might be a little harder. Astana, Kazakhstan, Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. C is for yeah. Cape Town. Will they give me Cape Town for South Africa? No, they won't. C is for... Let's skip C. F is for... F is for... F. F. Fun. G is for Georgetown. Uh, Guyana. H is for... Oh, come on. I'm, I'm not that bad at this. Uh, am I? H is for... Oh, ah. Come on. I, I know these. Alright, let's just name a bunch of them. Uh, London. Paris. Dublin. Berlin. Uh, Lisbon. I'm, I'm just naming... Ulan Batar. There you go. Oops. Extra A. It's hard to remember the number of A's in Ulaanbaatar. Manila. Port Moresby. I already got that one. Q. This is a capital city that begins with Q? What is it? Washington. Ottawa. Y. Y Ye Yerevan. Yerevan. V. Port Vila. Vientiane. In Laos. T. N is for New Delhi. K is for Kampala, Uganda. R is for Reykjavik. Yes. Okay. I. I. The Vatican. San Marino for S. J. J. Jerusalem for Israel. H. Um, H. 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 Guatemala City. Panama City. Costa Rica is San Jose. Tejusijalpa, Honduras. Um, I need C, F, H, I, and Q. What's the Q? Timpu, Bhutan. Kathmandu, Nepal. Ugh. Dhaka, Dakar, Bangkok, Hanoi, Hanoi, yes, Hanoi, Vietnam, okay, uh, I need C, F, and I, and Q, C, F, I, Q, C, F, I, Q, C, F, I, Q, Pretoria, Cabrone, Vintok, Kinshasa, 
Brazzaville. Come on. What is it? CFIQ. CFIQ. Buenos Aires, Santiago. I. In. You. Come on. I only have like 40 something seconds. CFIQ. CFIQ. Fuck God. Almaty. No, the Almaty's not. Ah, Nicosia. C. Cairo. Yes! Cairo, Egypt. Okay. F, I, and Q. F, I, and Q. Ugh. Come on. Islamabad. Islamabad, Pakistan. All right. F and Q. Which is the one that begins with Q? Five seconds. F is for... F Frank. I don't know. I don't know. What, what what were they? Okay. Capital city that begins with F. Um, national capitals in alphabetical order. Let's go to Wikipedia. Why not? <laughs> I have to know this. F and Q. F and Q. I know Qatar's the only Q country. F. Come on. What is it? There's... Freetown and Funafuti. Sierra Leone and Tuvalu. Okay, what about Q? I'm thinking there's only like one Q, right? Quito! I shouldn't have known that. Ecuador, okay. Sorry, Ecuador. I should have known that. And sorry to Sierra Leone and Tuvalu as well. I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have known that. Can you name the cities with the most skyscrapers in the world in 1962? This is seven minutes long. Too long. I'm gonna go to another one. Sorry. Sorry. I love skyscrapers, though. Well, I love studying them. Can you name the countries with the highest top income tax rate? That's a good question. Can I? How about Germany? How about the UK? France? Switzerland? No. It's probably not the United States. We have very low taxes, I think. Um, Denmark. Bernie Sanders loves Denmark. Um, <laughs> let's try Nordic countries. Norway. Sweden. Finland. Estonia. Iceland. Oh, Iceland. Um, Latvia? Lithuania, Russia, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, oh, Japan, China, India, Canada, okay, I'm getting somewhere, the Bahamas, uh, Uruguay, uh, I think I'm going to stick with Europe, ne Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Spain, Monaco, no, Monaco has low taxes. That's how they can survive as a little tiny country. Attract all the yachts. Um, <laughs> no, it's probably not a tiny country. Italy? Czechia? Is it Czechia yet? I don't know. Poland? Austria? Yes, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of Europe, it seems. Israel? Yes. Kuwait? Qatar? UAE? Saudi Arabia? Uh, South Africa? Botswana? Where should I look in the world for more of these? Should I just keep just keep on going with Europe? I'm guessing Eastern Europe isn't that high. Oh, there's Greece. Um, Cyprus. Romania. Bulgaria. Moldova. I didn't do Russia yet, did I? Iran? Iraq? Okay. Taiwan. Uh, Singapore. Malaysia. Indonesia. Who has high taxes? Who? Who out there has high taxes? Raise your hand. Austria, Belgium, Japan, Finland, Canada. What in the world? Uh, Mexico. Brazil. Chile. Peru, Paraguay, Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Oman, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, I can't spell Bhutan. Where is it? Where are they? Um, Germany? I did Germany. Where is it? 
Where are they? Where are the high taxes? Ireland. There's Ireland, okay. Where are the high taxes? Where are they? I give up. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Senegal? Alright. <laughs> Portugal? I should have known Portugal. Uh, Zimbabwe and Australia. Okay. I was not expecting Senegal to be high up there. Alright. Let's try another one. See if I can do better at... Can I name the foreign-born population in the, in the Netherlands? <laughs> you want me to name 30 countries? Um, no, thank you. I'm going to try another one. Um, 10 minutes? No. Come on, guys. Uh, uh, no, no. Some of those long ones are, are fun. It's just, this is a, a video where I want to do a bunch of short ones. Can I name the U.S. states that contain an O? In 90 seconds or less. Let's try it. I don't like all these letter ones, because they have nothing to do with, like, the actual countries. New Mexico, Oregon, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Zealand, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, uh, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. See, that was easy. Give me a, give me a tougher one, but short. Can I name the countries depicted in these early maps? This is a this looks a, this, this looks fun. <laughs> Seven minutes. Okay. Does that look like Morocco to you? Western Sahara there. No. Is that supposed to be Egypt? Israel. Yes. That looks like Cyprus. That looks like Morocco. That looks like the Netherlands. That looks like what does that look like? Nigeria. It looks like that delta in uh, southern Nigeria. Is that India or Pakistan? It looks like a delta there. What is that? Uh, I don't know. The next one looks like a very accurate map of Spain, considering that Spain is where a lot of these maps seem to have come from. What is that? What is that? I don't know that one. Um, that's gotta be Russia. Huge thing. Iran. Iceland. Oh, what is that one? Looks very inaccurate, <laughs> but what is it? Hmm, don't know. That is Mexico. That is Italy. India. Turkey. And that one is what? I don't know. What is that one? Okay, this is a very long one. I'm gonna just give up now and we'll move on to the next one. That's supposed to be China? What part of China is that supposed to be? Are you serious? How is that China? Okay. Ireland? What? Oh, maybe this way. Maybe like, okay, maybe that does look a little bit like Ireland. Japan? Okay, I can see, I can see that. It is very inaccurate, <laughs> but it looks like the southern part of Japan, with Kyushu and such. Uh, Egypt, that's supposed to be Egypt. Oh, okay. Some of them are like, have, don't have north on top. What, what is it with you guys in the letters of the alphabet? No, we're going to do another one. Fifteen minutes, sorry. Uh, we're going to do another one. Can you pick the countries that, or, that only border two other countries by land? That sounds tough. Okay. Andorra, yes. Bangladesh, yes. Belize, yes. Cambodia, I don't think so. Canada only borders one. Costa Rica, unless you count that one island that is disputed between Canada and Denmark. Costa Rica, I think is a yes. Djibouti is not. A... Okay. <laughs> Ecuador, I think borders Brazil. El Salvador only borders two, I think. Okay. Kuwait, I think is a yes. Yes. Indonesia borders Malaysia on land, and it orders... No! I missed up. 
I forgot about Papua New Guinea. It, I, I knew about Timor Leste and Malaysia, but I forgot uh, the other one. Okay, I'm sad. I'm giving up. Um, no, no. We're gonna try that again, and I'm gonna remember Indonesia. Okay. Indo no. I almost clicked. <laughs> okay, not Indonesia this time. Um, El Salvador, yes. Kuwait, yes. Nicaragua, I don't know. Yes, Nicaragua. Tunisia, yes. Togo, no. Sweden, I don't think so. Maybe. Yes. Uruguay, yes. The United States, I guess we do only border two other countries, yes. The UAE borders two countries, I think. Saudi and uh, Oman, yeah. Swaziland borders two. Sierra Leone borders two. Huh, okay. Paraguay borders three, I think. Norway borders one, two. Does Norway border Finland? Look like way up north? I don't know. I think it does. North Korea borders three. There's a tiny bit of a Russian border on the North Korean border. Nepal borders only two. I'm pretty sure about that. Mongolia only two. Moldova only two. Mexico borders more than two. Luxembourg borders more than two, I'm pretty sure. Liechtenstein borders two. Indonesia borders three. Honduras, I think, borders three. Guyana borders three, I think. Guinea-Bissau. Ugh, this is a tough one. Guatemala borders more. Greece borders more. Equatorial Guinea. Yeah, that's a two. Yes, because they've got the island where most of their population is, but on the mainland, they border Gabon and Cameroon, I think. Ecuador, Japan. Uri, Costa Rica, yes. Canada, no. Belize, yes. Andorra, yes. Bangladesh, yes. So I have two more <laughs> out of these that I'm missing. Ugh. I don't think it's any of those. Oh, I ran out of time. It was Ecuador? So Brazil doesn't border Ecuador. Okay. Good to know. Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau. Okay, I need a map of Guinea-Bissau. I should know this in my head, but I, I want to look it up. Give me the south borders Senegal and Guinea. Okay, good to know. Um, how are we on time? Let's do one more. One more, and we'll see <laughs> what happens. Mountain ranges. Looks fun, but it's nine minutes long. Sorry. Um, can you list the continents in order by population without getting one wrong? Yes, I think I can. Asia. Africa. <laughs> okay, let's see. South America. Mm. Let's try again. Okay, cheer me on. I can do it. Asia. Africa. North America. Cheer harder. Cheer harder. Okay. Harder. Louder. <laughs> Asia. Africa. Europe. Duh. North America, yes, South America, and Oceania, yes, thank you guys for your help, <laughs> and thank you for watching, and I hope this was fun, check out sporkle.com, it's, it's really cool, and yeah, that's about it, thanks everyone, have an awesome day, bye.